Hello and welcome to the Second Times News. I'm New Huynh with the news headlines for this week. Air services on Ho Chi Minh City for work rules suspended. U.S. ships 2 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine to Vietnam. Fruit vegetable exports rise 17.4% in the first half of this year. ADB provides 4.6 million U.S. dollars for Vietnam to develop private sector. Vietnam's e-commerce market flourishes amid COVID-19. The Ministry of Transport has approved the King Yang government's proposal to suspend passenger flights between Ho Chi Minh City and Phu Quoc Island from July 8 until further notice. The United States has sent 2 million doses of the Madonna COVID-19 vaccine to Vietnam as part of its emergency public health assistance of $80 million to offer global support in the fight against COVID-19. Vietnam exported fruits and vegetables worth over 2.06 billion US dollars in the first half of 2021 increasing 17.4% compared with the same period last year, according to the Vietnam Fruit and Vegetables Association. The Asian Development Bank has a real technical assistance worth 4.6 million US dollars to help Vietnam strengthen public-private partnerships, private sector development, and state-owned enterprise reform. For further details, please click the links in the description below. Although COVID-19 has severely affected most industries, the pandemic has given a boost to the e-commerce market as it led to a surging demand for online shopping. Vietnam's e-commerce revenue reached 11.8 billion U.S. in 2020, growing 18% from the previous year and accounting for 5.5% of total retail sales of consumer goods and services, according to the Ministry of Industry and Trade's Department of E-Commerce and Digital Economy. The Vietnam's Digital Advertising Market 2021, a pioneering and breakthrough strategy, report by Adsoda and its strategic partner SOL Premier, showed that the local e-commerce market has entered the golden age. The number of new users on e-commerce platforms in the country has surged more than 41%, the highest rate in Southeast Asia. The growth rate is 37% in Indonesia and the Philippines, 36% in Malaysia, and 30% in Singapore and Thailand. Up to 91% of the users in Vietnam said they would continue using e-commerce platforms post-pandemic. Online shopping traffic in the country so far this year has skyrocketed by 150% with daily visits to e-commerce sites growing to 3.5 million, according to the Vietnam E-Commerce Association. The growing number of online consumers has resulted in growth in many e-commerce segments, such as ride hailing, food delivery, online payments, online training, and online marketing. However, the e-commerce development gap between Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi on the one hand, and other cities and provinces on the other, remain very large. The two biggest cities account for half of the country's total business-to-customer e-commerce transaction value. The rapid growth of the e-commerce market is attributed to changes in the consumer's shopping behavior to adapt to social distancing measures. Most consumers now prefer shopping online to visiting physical stores to avoid direct contact. In terms of categories, essential supplies, especially food, as well as internet services, household utilities, and healthcare products have become the top choices of consumers. In contrast, spending on beauty and entertainment products and services has plummeted due to strict social distancing measures. The pandemic has made consumers' price sensitivity no longer a leading factor in purchasing decisions. Consumers tend to save more, but at the same time, instead of choosing cheap products, they have become more interested in products with good quality and health benefits. And that's all for much for now. Thanks for watching the Saigon Times News. Goodbye and see you next week.